Call in the Prime Minister. Good morning, how are you? Doing very well, thank you. Is the Prime Minister in? Can I speak with him, please? And give me his assistance. I'll take his assistant. I'm a lucky dude. I get somebody. <laughs> Hi, good morning, how are you? This is Don Woodstock. Dr. David Suzuki had asked me to send a message to the Prime Minister. You can record the call? Okay, well, here's what I say to my Prime Minister. Mr. Prime Minister, this is Don Woodstock, your brother from another mother. <laughs> I always wanted to say that. <laughs> Rem remember Woodstock? An era where brotherly love, respect for all, sharing love and peace was a cry of so many. But then we heard from people like Simon and Garfunkel, sounds of silence, bridge over troubled waters, and um, you know, who can forget, you know, the Beatles when they sing that lovely song, Let It Be. Harry Melvin and the Blue Notes also, um, during that era, gave us, um, you know, calling us to act. And um, their words is still strong today that we need to do something because the world ain't gonna get better if we just sit down and, and just, you know, do nothing. And who can forget Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy the man, <laughs> good old Jimmy. But I'm sure you get my message. I firmly feel that the, um, Copenhagen will be um, your, 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 your Woodstock. Whatever you do or don't do will be your legacy. Corporate greed, fat cat mentality and um, warmongering and the lack of moral and social consciousness has collapsed the world financial market and yes you know recession that dreadful word nobody wants to talk about it was felt globally arrogance and pig-headedness you know would only push us you know humanity closer to that extinction so just let it be let it be that this is more than just a, another photo opportunity. Let it be that as our Prime Minister, your words and your actions are one and the same. And if nothing else, let it be that your government have the courage to put in place policies that will, will make for a more sustainable economic future. What world are we going to leave for our children's children? Find the courage to implement these policies that will alter our consumption habits so that we can leave a cleaner, healthier, more sustainable environment for our children and our generation. Copenhagen, in my view, is our opportunity to lead the world. So, you know, like the song says, let it be. And this is my own little version of it, you know, let it be. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be, oh, let it be. Whispering words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be. Don Woodstock, I thank you kindly for your time. Thanks.